All right, everyone, welcome back to another video. So today's video, I'm gonna showing you how to install a kind of universal TPMS system on your vehicle that has an Android-based stereo. All right, so first let's go over what you get in the kit. So obviously, if you buy a universal one, there should be a thumb drive of some sort that has uh, the app that we're going to install on the Android head unit. In my case, I bought a Join branded unit, but here's a little secret. Most of them are all the same. So you kind, with a little bit of work, you can kind of buy whatever one's cheapest. But I'll leave links in the description to a couple of options. So in my case, this one didn't come with the software, but we're going to be installing it on this Atoto head unit, which comes with the TPMS software on it. Also, I have other head units that have the join TPMS app already installed on them, but it looks to be the exact same thing. So here's the receiver. Here is some double-sided tape, a little wrench, some nuts for the valve stems, and then obviously we get four of these little receivers. So there's two types of these kits. These ones just screw on, they replace the valve stem caps. And this is obviously the easiest type to buy because you literally just put a battery in it and tighten it down. Um, we're gonna make sure that we use anti-seize on there so we can get them back off. But there's also the type that actually is more like a OEM specific type that goes inside the tire, but still works with an Android based head unit and a receiver like this. Um, these are just 433 megahertz uh, TPMS sensors. So if you're getting new tires or you need new tires, that's a good time to install the ones that are mounted inside the tire because they actually do work better and there's less of a pain. So obviously anytime we need to get put air in the tires, we have to take off these sensors it's not that hard, but it's just something to think about. You'll need that little wrench, throw it in the glove box. All right, so the first step, like I said, depending on where you get your sensors, they may or may not come with batteries. They take a little CR1632 battery. So that gets inserted like that with the positive side up. Let me just screw the cap back down. There's a little rubber O-ring. Um, that seals it, so just don't, you know, crank it down too hard, but make sure it's nice and snug. And install the batteries in all of those, and we'll put them on the tire. All right, so the first step is to make sure your tires are filled to the factory spec. So our case is 32 PSI, we're at 30.9. I'll just go right up to 32. Okay, then I'm going to take the one that's labeled front right, and remember what I said about the anti-seize because the brass fittings here and the little anti-theft nuts they give you will seize together if you don't put a little bit of anti-seize on. Yeah, make sure you don't get it in the valve stem. You just put it on kind of, don't snug it down just kind of as far as it'll go at first. And then take your sensor, screw it on by hand, and you'll actually hear it depress the tire. So you want to go kind of quick so you don't let air out. Then all we're going to do is we're going to take that little wrench and we're going to turn that locking mechanism back towards the sensor. So counterclockwise. Then 
just snug it down. I guess that's supposed to be able to, see it keeps you from being able to unscrew it. That'll keep it from loosening up and falling off. Just remember, throw this in your glove box, because if you ever need to take them off, we're gonna have to turn it clockwise to loosen that. So now we're gonna do that to the other three tires, and then we'll be ready to go back in the car. All right, so here on the head unit, if I go in to the applications, there should be one already in here that says TPMS. Again, if you buy the universal kit, I'll have a thumb drive. You just plug it into the USB port on the stereo. I always run a spare USB port into the glove box, and this is actually where we're going to be plugging in the receiver. It's just going to plug right into there. All right, so again, in the glove box. So what they recommend is you use the double-sided included tape and like mount it in the glove box. That's what we're going to do. It still allows us to plug it in and unplug it. If we need to use the USB port for something else. Obviously, these Android head units do include multiple USB ports. Like on the joins, they include actually three. And one can be used for obviously Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Another would be a spare for something like this. And then there's one that's dedicated for a dash camera. Plug it in. Stick it. I said to try to avoid any places of interference. I hope it would stick. Remember, throw the wrench in the glove box. All right, so now we'll see if we've got any data. May have to take the vehicle for a drive. Again, this is assuming we've already installed our software. If you haven't installed your software, you'll want to plug the USB port. Okay, TPMS setup. We're going to change the temperature type to Fahrenheit. And pressure type to PSI. So we have low pressure alarm, high pressure alarm, the defaults. You can see here, high temperature alarm. I'm not really going to mess with anything because it looks pretty good. Low battery alarm, abnormal connection alarm. Okay, so there's that stuff. Okay, so obviously it is only detected the front right sensor so far. All right, I'm gonna take it for a drive and see if this doesn't kind of correct itself. Because obviously it has not gotten the data from the other three sensors, just this one. All right, out for a little drive. You can see we've already learned two of the sensors. So we're just waiting on the front left. Okay, so it shows a signal status, battery status, Obviously our pressure, our temperature, and it says normal, everything's green. I went ahead and put the TPMS app on the home screen here. So anytime, I can just click on it and it'll bring up our tire pressure. The, the app does start itself every time you start the head unit. It runs in the background um, as like a system service. So it can pop up notifications, you know, for your low tire um, on its own without you having to go in and manually start the app, just FYI. So just make sure all the permissions are granted to it. And that's gonna be kind of a different um, way to do that on every stereo. But in my case, on this Atoto unit, we wanna go into device settings, apps, and it'll pull up, it's kind of like any other Android thing, look for the TPMS and we want to look for permissions and just make sure see it says no permissions denied it's allowed every permission that it needs to be able to start itself and draw over other apps and everything like that so that's really all there is to it again like i said i just put it on the home screen here so pull it up anytime and 
check the status of your tires. Hopefully the video was helpful. Uh, if it was, be sure to give it a like, subscribe, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And again, I'll leave a uh, link to a system just like this that you can buy for your car that's running any aftermarket Android head unit. All right, till next time, we'll see you later.